Hey guys, Q&A number six, let's get into it here. If someone's overweight to the point where it puts pressure on their joint, should they focus on exercise primarily or diet? I would say diet. Um, the, the diet stuff doesn't change. You should be, you should dial in your nutrition no matter what. Um, if weight loss is your goal, I mean, especially the, the diet's super important. Not to say that movement isn't, but especially considering that moving um, is hurting your joints. You, you really just aren't in a position where you can exercise without pain to lose weight. And nor is that maintainable because you'd have to do just uh, an inordinate amount of exercise just to lose that weight. And you'd also have to maintain it in order to keep it off. So the diet piece is going to be the bigger, um, kind of the bigger fish to fry in that situation. And in every weight loss scenario, unless you're, you know, the exception is like a, prime level athlete where they can just kind of eat whatever they want and uh, they're moving so much that it really doesn't matter. Um, we see a lot of those people, those athletes, once they quit doing whatever sport they're doing that they just pile on the weight because their eating habits don't change, but their movement um, has declined in a big way. So uh, yeah, focus on the diet. Uh, oh, actually, and I wanted to say also get walking in because it's just super low impact or you could do some stuff in the pool as well that's uh, that's super easy on the joints. Um, why do I always get sick when I go on vacation? So when you go on vacation, lots of times leading up to it, you've just been kind of stressed to the gills, go, go, go. And finally, when you get on vacation, you can relax, your stress levels um, are responding the way that they're supposed to respond. And then you can, you're can you finally in a position where you can almost get sick. You can afford to get sick. If you look at it from an evolutionary standpoint, if um, stress levels are super high, you need to get stuff done, your body's just gonna hold on and stay in that survival mode until um, it finally gets a chance to have a break and then boom, you get sick. And in this case, it's uh, a vacation scenario. Why am I hungrier when I'm tired? So when we're sleep deprived or tired, our hormone levels like ghrelin go up, which is like a, a hunger hormone. So um, it just kind of makes sense also, touching back on that last question from an evolutionary standpoint, if we haven't got our proper rest, the body is looking for any source of energy that it can find to get daily tasks done. So it's going to um, increase hunger, hunger levels, so you just consume more food, and then you can basically provide energy that way because we haven't been receiving it via sleep, rest, recovery, all that stuff. So yeah, it, it, it's actually pretty amazing and we're wired up pretty perfectly that way. But in this case, you know, when we're sleep deprived, it's, it's, uh, it's a tough scenario. You're just going to feel hungrier. So that's it for now. Uh, three quick questions. If you have any questions for future Q and A's, hit me up and I uh, hope you learned something here. Thanks guys. See ya.